Hello and welcome to the spot of positivity. Here we are. It's taken me ages to video and I'm awfully sorry. Um, this is my fresh morning, unmade up, unhair done, all that kind of thing. Look and uh, you enjoy it. Let me have a sip of water here. I don't know about you, but uh, sorry, this is really shaky. Um, I uh, find myself going through times when I drink enough water and time when I don't. So I'm going to try to um, reignite that habit. That's a fire. Revisit that habit. What do you do with the habit? restart that habit I'm so uh, I'm so into words I'm this is not the right word but anyway um, definitely need to start drinking more water I feel like I'm drinking tea hot chocolate and uh, I think something a little bit of purity is required here so I'm gonna go for that now here we are in day oh I don't know day what of lockdown and I've I'm awfully sorry but I'm doing a Greek course right now and I'm finding it hard to do everything but I was desperate to do a spot of positivity today because um, I just feel like probably I need it for uh, regularity and I owe it to you as well because I want to do this and um, I've been yeah I've been finding myself very positive um, and I want to pass that on um, one thing that's really, really helping me is writing poetry. And I know that last time was a crazy little poem I put in. Um, but in general, my actual heartfelt poetry is super, super therapeutic for me. And um, I'm writing down things. I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm not editing it to bits. I'm trying to like let it be a flow of... Uh, a flow? A mental flow, yeah without without um trying to make it all fit and once in a while i'll go i'll search for that right word or that right phrase it really says what i want to say because actually i want to write these things down and um enjoy them afterwards and i'm such a harsh critic of myself that um i will enjoy it more if um yeah flow of consciousness that's the word um if i let um, myself edit slightly but my goodness it super, it really really helps um, I'm also doing some more some stuff in my uh, art journal um, but more of my poetry at the moment so I have my box here and we're gonna see what we have been asked to do today my lockdown uh, survival box and I really hope it's not something awful I might put it back and start again if I missed so many days I could probably do that so here it is what's it gonna say <gasps> learn a sentence in another language well I could cheat because I am learning Greek right now um, but it would be fun to do something completely different wouldn't it I once learned to say um, I have the hunger of a wolf in Italian and it was so much fun. Um, something about fame de lupo I think but um, I will see what we should do. Now I am learning Greek and I'm learning to say stuff like my name is, um, I am from this place, I feel this way um, or I am called. You know there's different ways of saying my name is I am this, my name is this, I am called this. Um, but let's see what we do. I should get my little iPad out and learn a sentence in another language. I'll just, for um, my own personal review, I will do a, a phrase to really make myself do this um, in Greek, because you may think that's cheating, but I call it review, because um, I am doing lots of stuff here with Greek. So, we, um, I learned how to say, how are you doing in, or, yeah, in a whole bunch of informal ways. So, I will tell you what they are. Tikanis, I know that one already. And then we have, and then we have, oh, I think it says, 
Octopus Pie and Te Ginete and Te Nea. Um, that's informal. Now, if I want to be formal, I say Chicanate or I say Pos Iste. Those are my formal ways of saying how are you doing in Greek. And I learned to say um, something. Oh, oh, Ta Idea. That means I'm the same. Or I can say. Mihala, and I love that one, Mihala, because it means mm, one happiness. It means I'm doing just fine, but actually, I thought it was great because the literal translation is one happiness. Now, I am just going to go over to my iPad, and just for fun, we're going to learn to say something in a different language. Now, that's maybe not practical because I should focus on my Greek, but it's going to stretch my little brain. And it's going to be a little bit of fun. So here we are in my seat of choice today. And what language shall we learn to say something in? How about I could say something in Russian. Russian is the language today. So in Russian, I'm going to learn to say you know what? Ukrainian. Ukrainian. I'm going to learn to say something in Ukrainian. And I'm going to learn to say... Um, because we have people um, in Cyprus. Quite a lot of people from Ukraine. And it would be fun to tell them... Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. In, um, in Ukrainian and see if that, that is the okay. case. So nice to meet you, Ukrainian. There we go. Look at that. Google had someone else look that up before me. Now, here we go. Oh my goodness, the letters are absolutely unrecognizable to me. We have, we're learning all these letters in Greek and that's fine. And I'm getting over the code of it. But here we go. Nice to meet you. It looks like it says something like Priemno Poznaya Motis. Ya no Poznaiomitis. Now that is my crazy uh, thing, but oh great. You know when I have this on Bluetooth, which is super super annoying. Um, I guess I'll have to put it off Bluetooth because I won't be able to hear it unless I put the headphones on. This sounds ridiculous. Okay, so there's the just so you let to let you know there are one, two, three, four kinds of letters that have no idea what they mean. Okay, so this is actually better. I'm gonna put my headphones on because you won't hear how similar or dissimilar I sound to the actual thing. And then I can say it for you. There we go. Now, so it's going to say something like Priemno Poznayomitis. Okay, something like that, right? But I hear what it sounds like. Oh! Let's do it again. Priyam, Poznayomatis. Something like that. One more time. And that is, it's nice to meet you in Ukrainian. Priyam, Poznayomatis. I cannot do that thing. There's something about this. Uh, Ukrainian or Russian, I don't know what, there's something, something like that, but I can't, it's sort of in your, in this part of your jaw, I can't quite describe it, because we know in the way the Russian accent sounds like in a, in a movie or whatever, um, but I can't really do it, but it's sort of, I'll try it one more time, okay? Very nice to meet you, by the way. Priyamo, priyamo pozna yomitis. Uh... One more time. There we go. That's how she says it. Okay, there you go. 
I have learned successfully a phrase in another language. Now, I hope you have a really nice day today. That you've enjoyed watching this. If you do, please like and subscribe because it makes me happy. And wouldn't you want to make me happy? <laughs> have a lovely, lovely day and uh, hope something nice happens to you today. It's unexpected and worth celebrating. Bye-bye.